Hey guys, this is your friend Kodajit and in this video we'll be starting a new Electron app, starting it from no code at all and then taking it to the stage where it becomes a real Electron app with a form that's running. So let's get started and see how to do that. First things first, Electron is based on Node.js and it's actually a plugin that can be installed on your Node.js environment. So what we need to do is first install Node.js. So I googled it. It should take you to the nodejs.org website. There's a big download button right on the screen. And what you want to do is always use the LTS. LTS stands for long term support. So this is the version of Node.js that is recommended for production use. Production use is when you ship out the software to the customer and you are not using it for internal testing or development purposes, but to give it to customers and for proper use. So this is the version you want to use for production. Now, based on when you download and install it, this could change. Maybe it could be 17 or even later. Don't worry about it. Whatever the current version is, it's going to work with Electron because it's always updated and Electron actually ships its own files together. So when you create an Electron app, it's going to ship it entire Node.js framework inside of the Electron app to your customer. So you don't need to worry about the version for now. Download this version to your PC and we'll be installing it. So here is the Node.js setup wizard. Click on next and based on your current status of the installation, you will get to, get to install it afresh or if you already have it, then you might get a dialog box prompting you to repair it, but don't worry about it. You can leave it alone. If it's already installed, that's going to be fine. It should be updated on your PC and should work. But if not, then you can repair the installation and it will download the latest version and install that. So that might take another couple of seconds. All right. So the download is done and we want to check on our PC whether the download succeeded or not. And for that, I'm using command prompt. You can run it by running the Windows command prompt. It's called CMD. If you use the run command, you can type CMD there and it will display the command prompt right over here. And what you want to do is type node here. If node is installed, you will be taken to the node prompt. We can exit it by pressing control C and you can check the version of node uh, by typing node.v. It's not node dash dash, we single dash only. So you can see that we have version 16.13 that's exactly the version that was available on the website right now with the long term support LTS version. That's what you should be doing. So now we have Node.js on our computer and next step we have to start off with a project for Electron and to do that I'm going to use, an, use a code editor. It's called Visual Studio Code. This is a very high quality code editor, code IDE, whatever you want to call it. It's from Microsoft. And the best thing is it's made in Electron. What do you think about that? You're going to be coding Electron in an editor that is made in Electron. How cool is that? So this is Visual Studio Code. It's a great application, very, very uh, rich with features. And it's got a number of plugins that you can use that solve different things. And what we want to do is start off a new project. Now you can run Visual Studio Code from the command prompt by by typing code dot dot, which is going to open Visual Studio Code in the current folder. If you omit the dot, it's going to open Visual Studio Code with the default folder. But I have found that ever since I upgraded to Windows 11, this is not working any longer. So I'm just going to ignore that and I'm going to use the mouse to open a folder. So click on open folder and we'll have to create a folder. I'm going to go to a folder on my site, on my hard drive, drive actually. And I'm going to call it my electron test or whatever you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want. Click on select folder. And now you've got an empty folder where there is nothing happening and you've got to set up an electron app. So this is how we do it. First thing, we're going to load up the terminal. So you can click on the terminal menu and click on new terminal command. Or you can press control shift and I think it's called the ampersand. Control shift ampersand. Click on it and that will load the terminal. And to get started with a new Electron app, 
you go pretty much the same way you start off a new node app which is npm init type npm init and give your app a name for example i'll call it electron test again test me version you can leave it to whatever you want this is a test app entry point is index.js usually you can leave it at that many times in node we often call it main.js so that's what i changed i called it in the main.js not gonna set up a test command we don't have a git repo yet for this project so gonna leave it empty if you want to add any keywords you can but leave it empty and i will put my name in the author go to jeet leave license empty and it's going to show you a preview of the package.json that it will write. So if it meets your requirement, type Y, press enter, and your project is actually ready. So you can see the package.json file over here. So we have nothing over here yet because we haven't started coding in Electron yet. We haven't added any of the Electron packages yet, but we will do this shortly. But this is a bare bones package.json which describes your project. Now let us install Electron here. So that's also very easy type npm install install is for installation of course and then you have to give it the option save dev the reason is electron is gonna be a development package you're not gonna uh, you know send out send it out to production just like that it's not a very standard node.js package so you will always install it only for development so thereby that's why we have the save dev uh, command save dev option and type electron press enter it's going to install electron all the packages all the different components of electron are going to be pulled and installed and that might take a few minutes maybe a minute or two that's okay so electron is completely installed it didn't really take that long and now you can see in your package or json you have dev dependencies there's a new dev dependency it's called electron and you've got the electron version over here now we're ready to get started with the next stage and that is giving electron an entry point you see electron needs to start off with a file that describes your project that describes the form that you want to create and that we need to create right now we haven't created it yet so that's our basic scaffolding so the first file we need to create is the main file main.js and this is where electron will start processing the code and we need to require electron this is to include the electron module so that we can use it and the first two objects that we will pull from electron first two components are going to be const browser window this is this is the class that describes the window that you will be displaying on screen and app which is to control the application this object will control the application and put an equals to to pull it from there so we have browser window and app object and now what you want to do is you want to create an instance of the window so that you can show it on screen and we can do that very easily by calling it uh, by calling the browser window command so let's create a function called create window and it's an arrow function so we'll just use this and here we have it and now create an instance of the browser window go to new browser window and we will be passing several options to the browser window using which it's going to create the form let's start with width and let's call it let's maybe use 800 and we can use the height 600 and now we need to give it some more details like and to create this window we have to call the function so we'll use the app dot when ready function ready event now app dot when ready is called when the application is ready the electron platform is loaded and the application is ready to load so we're going to use an arrow function again it's an event and i like my semicolon so i'll just use them create window and close the parenthesis now the basic application is ready you if you want you can run it now and to run it we need to start a command uh, the command is not here in pk package or json yet the test command this will not run the run electron what you need to do is let's call let's let's create a new command let's call it uh, test uh, start 
test is already there and in that we need to run electron so we're going to put electron the electron command and dot which is going to run the current folder it's going to look for main.js in the current folder save it one more time save main.js one more time and then coming back to the terminal we're going to write npm run start and let's see what happens so we've got the empty form right now it's pretty empty it's just loading the default electron uh, a document it's got nothing special and now we need to put in something that is unique to our project so let's do that we have code that runs when electron starts up we have to write some code that will process the electron closing event and exit our project and this is the one window all the close basically we don't have to do anything special we just have to set up an exception on uh, mac os because on mac os if all the forms are closed all the visible windows are closed even then the software will start will keep be, will keep running so you have to exit out of the project only when app.quit is called so that's that's there then let's create some interface now and electron actually uses html to create your interface so i'm going to create an html file i called it index.html and i will just set it up so if you use emmet you can just set up a basic document over here and i will just put in a little head one tag this is my electron app and i have a title here page title electron app and now i gotta put it in main.js we're gonna load this html file so win this is the browser window that we have load file and give it the name of your file if your file is in a folder you would want to use relative path but our file is placed right next to the main.js file in the hierarchy so we don't need that it's done it should be ready and now let's run it one more time npm run start and you can see my electron app this has the headline now so it's rendering the index html next let's create a preload file so i'm just gonna close this and we'll start a new file called preload.js now i explained the concept of preload in my other video so make sure to watch it in this video i will won't be talking a lot about preload but just to tell you in a very brief summary electron forms electron apps should not talk to the file system and other system resources directly they need to go through a preload file which will only selectively expose certain functionality it won't give access to the entire file system it will only ex it will only expose that functionality which you choose to the front end to the renderer so that is the role of the preload file so i'm gonna put it in web preferences that's the object that electron uses and preload and this time we're going to use path.join path is a node.js object which allows you this access to the system path and we need to include it const path equals to require path so that's done and path.join we'll use a global variable called dir name which gives access to the current running application folder and preload.js that's our file name let's put in here and control save now let's run it one more time there should be no visible changes but the application should run so we have a problem here it cannot find uh, join so i guess i made a mistake over here let's see and now yes you can see it's running now and the preload file is, is is created and you will need to put in your preload code in your preload file i'm not going to do this now but what you're going to do next is create a renderer file so you can have a javascript file which is connected to your main html actually you can have multiple and those are called renderer javascript this is where you modify the front end of the code so i'm going to create a new file call it renderer.js and now we have this this we will include directly in the javascript right at the bottom usually i prefer including it at the bottom so script and source equals to just select the file and close it that's it so now this is how the basic electron project should look the very 
the very bare minimum electron project should be looking like these these many files it needs to have it needs to have a file to display the HTML content on the screen there should be a main file to start off the electron process to give electron an entry point there needs to be a renderer which is connected to the HTML file that you that you're displaying and this will actually work with the on-screen elements so if you need to submit a form if you need to get value from a text box the renderer will do that then we have a preload which will work as a conduit between the system and the renderer so whatever functionality that you want to create inside uh, that, that modifies the system it has to go through the preload and inside the preload you can also do things like database connectivity if you got any business logic that does not require like access to system resources like the file system and all you can do that in preload too and you can even load up databases inside of preload and send functionality to the front end so basically this is the structure for uh, an electron app and you will find a lot of tutorials on my channel that will talk about the different stages the next stage is now putting in more content trapping events through preload passing data to and fro the systems and i do have tutorials for that you should go and check them out and keep watching this space for more tutorials on electron and do subscribe to my channel hit that like button and encourage me to create even more videos this is code Ajit signing off